Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and went around town quite a bit. We learned that we were being spied on and we entered the Velvet Room, which housed the mysterious Igor and his assistant Elizabeth. Don't know much about that at the moment. But anyways, we're just kind of going at our own pace here. We also learned about the Dark Hour, where every night at 12 o'clock, there's an extra hour that not many people are privy to because they're asleep. Some people get preyed on uh, by these weird shadowy creatures, and some people, like uh, Takeba and uh, Mitsuru, and presumably our protagonist here, have the ability to stay awake and to not get preyed on by those creatures. So yeah, a lot of stuff happened in the last episode. Let's go ahead and get into this. First thing I want to mention before we do anything, the date in-game right now is April 9th. It's very important because in the Persona universe, every single teammate in the series has a birthday. And April 9th is the birthday of Yukino Mayuzumi, a character from Persona 1 and the, Pers the Persona 2 duology. Interesting thing is, f whenever a birthday occurs for a character who is from Persona 1 or the Persona 2 duology, if you check the TV, you'll get Trish from Who's Who. She is also a character from the original three Persona games, Persona 1, 2 Innocence 10, and 2 Eternal Punishment. She was this sort of fairy character who, uh, if I remember correctly, she helped heal you up. And if you see this screen, Hi, I'm Trish with an, today's installment of Who's Who, that means you're about to get a reference to a previous Persona game. Today's subject is the very dependable looking 20 year old woman. Her sister is a camera woman, and I heard that she got her camera from her mentor. Next next in the news is Pain Pain Go Away. I think Pain Pain Go Away is also a reference to the original trilogy. The 20 year old mentioned I believe is Yukino Maizumi's sister because in 2009, which is when this game takes place, uh, Yukino would be 30. Anyways, let's talk to Takaba here. I guess there was a dorm mother here once who cooked and stuff, but it's just us students now. Maybe that's why we have such a nice kitchen. Seems like a waste not to use it. Yeah, it does. I think... Yeah, I don't know that I'd really be able to make good use of it, though. And Kirijo senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking, but I would feel kind of bad if no one ever used it. Oh, right. I must say, the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Yeah, if you look up in the top right corner, we have the phases of the moon because that's something that was kept track of, that they kept track of in the original persona games and that carries over here but it has a whole new meaning we have a full moon right now i must say this moon looks quite stunning uh though tempting it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky i suggest you head to bed early and get some rest don't worry though there will be more full moons back here we have the kitchen that was being talked about we have the fridge the fridge is stuffed full of food and ingredients. There's a notice inside the fridge. Next fridge clearance date, May 2nd. The fridge might have space on this date. We'll keep that in mind, May 2nd. Anyways, uh, sort of a tour around the dorm here. We have this right over here, the, uh, like the desk area over here. There's this computer which we'll use later and this uh, sign-in sheet was used to save your game in the original Persona 3, but now you can just press start and instantly have access to uh, save slots. Uh, we have bathrooms over here, which again, I'll get to later. Um, and this whole first floor is sort of a lounge. Second floor is the boys dormitory. We have some vending machines, which are pretty cool. Uh, a bookshelf. And we have all of our dorms. We have vacant room, another vacant room, so three vacant rooms as well as Sonata's room and our room. Sonata is uh, presumably the Akihiko that was previously, uh, that we previously saw. Uh, third floor we have more vacant rooms as well as Mitsuru's room and uh, Yukari's room. I'm pretty sure in uh, Persona 3 Portable this room at the back here was uh, Kotone's room, the female protagonist. Also, someone pointed this out to me, and now I'll, now I'll never be able to not notice it. Mitsuru uh, has the biggest room here out of all of them. Like, these are very small dorms on the mini-map you can see. 
but Misuru's room is ginormous, just the entire length of the hallway, and that's why there aren't any more doors here. Uh, fourth floor. We have more bathrooms as well as a door that we can't get into, so not much of interest here. And then finally we have the roof, which we can't get to yet. Anyways, we can teleport, teleport back to our room, and once again, let's go to bed. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. Just who was that old man from the dream I had last night? And what was that contract all about? How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather... unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! <sighs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko, so I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay! A loud noise woke me up. I should check what's happening outside. We have to get out of here now! Alright. Hurry! To the first floor! We'll leave through the back! Oh, wait! Take this, just in case! Okay, let's go! Alright, we should be safe now. Takeba! Do you read me? Y yes I hear you! Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What?! Uh, oh, let's pull back! What are we gonna do? It's at the front door! Should we go upstairs for now? We have to get to safety. Alright, let's get away upstairs. 
Good idea. It's getting closer! I need to calm down. It's gonna be okay. Getting to safety is our priority now. Sorry. Sorry, I know this is sudden and you were sleeping. I promise I'll explain later. It's here. <laughs> Wait. was that? <sighs> it 
Is it over? No! No! G get away from me! I need to protect her. Those shadows! Did they break off from that other one? Alrighty, our first battle. We have some basic commands like attack and guard where you just attack with your sword or try to uh, block an, an oncoming attack. But the more interesting thing here, by pressing triangle, you can summon your persona. Orpheus! Our persona right now is Orpheus, the master of strengths. Thankfully he has fire magic right now, or fire attacks rather, that can quickly deal with the opponents right now. The monsters are gone. Are you okay? Oh, come on! Can you hear me? Oh, say something! It's so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona. The manifestation of your psyche. I don't understand. A Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. I don't get it. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, Farewell. My head is getting clearer. I can feel someone's presence beside me. You're awake! How do you feel? Where am I? Thank goodness you finally woke up! Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um... I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. What'd I do? that power you used, we call it Persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemies. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something. I can kinda relate. To you, I mean. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. 
You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. It's not your fault. Thanks. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. Oh, welcome back. Oh, welcome back. I gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Don't push yourself, though. Do you want to get some rest? Don't worry, your room's safe now. Hey. Kurijo Senpai said she'll be late today. I guess she's processing some paperwork for you. Hey, try not to overdo it at school tomorrow, okay? Alright, so it's been eight days since we were last, uh, since the incident where the shadow attacked. And you might be saying, huh, eight days, unconscious, that's probably not healthy, right? Don't worry, Persona users being knocked unconscious for several days and maybe even weeks at a time is completely normal, don't worry about it. Uh, well not normal, it's a bit more rare, but it still happens. Uh, fairly frequently, so yeah, totally fine. Don't worry about it. I don't think Mitsuru is doing anything. You can tell when somebody's somewhere by the white dots on the map here. Like, for example, that white dot that's on the couch uh, is Yukari, and I'm not seeing any white dots anywhere around here. And I don't think we can go in here yet. So, might as well just head back to our room and once again, take a nap. Or at least we will in the next episode. This is a bit of a shorter one, but we did a lot. We awakened to our persona. We had a weird experience there where Orpheus transformed into a weird other creature. Uh, but then he went back to normal. We were able to fend off the shadows. We took a long nap. And... Now we're about to go right back to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!